Hi, I'm Eric Allard with Tilson Homes, and I'm excited to bring you another installment of Tilson's Craftsmanship Series. At Tilson Homes, my family has been building homes all over Texas since 1932. Over the better part of a century, we've learned a lot about ourselves, our customers, and the homes we build. Part of the effort to achieve today's high energy standards starts really with the framing, not just in the installation. So we do a lot of things in our framing to help us achieve that. Some of those things are California corners, ladder tees, and insulated headers. What we're showing you here is an example of a ladder T, which simply means this wall is intersecting this exterior wall. And ordinarily, this would have gone all the way through to the outside and stopped there. We stop it just short here so that we can get insulation back behind here, which would ordinarily be blocked off by the two by four. So another thing that we do that again, is not necessarily required by code, but it's something we found that's much more energy efficient is we employ a California corner on all the exterior corners. And we do that so that when the insulators come, we get way more insulation in the home all the way back here to this corner, leaving this cavity open so that we can be sure that your home is well insulated, tight, and you have low energy bills. On the header here, typically headers are separated with plywood in between them. We use an R3 foam sheathing so that we can get a little bit higher R value out of that to achieve the energy rating. The biggest long-term threat to your energy bill is going to be air leakage. We do a lot of things to combat that, but one of the most important things we do is the two-stage polycell. The two-stage polycell is first put around your windows, exterior toe plates, and exterior doors, because those are all the prime places where you're going to have air leakage. In addition to that, you've got Tyvek that provides their own flexible tape that actually tapes from the inside out and seals against the Tyvek on the outside to prevent air leakage coming back and forth. The open cell spray foam insulation completely seals up the envelope of the home and the insulated space. It keeps the climatized air in and the seasonal air out. So now we're going to talk about our windows. At Tilson Homes, we use a double pane vinyl tilt sash window. They're all American made. They have a limited lifetime warranty on the frames. And they are a tilt sash, as we said. What does that mean? So what you can do is open the window. It's got two little latches on the inside. You tilt it, you can clean the window, close it back, nice tight seal. What you'll also notice on all the windows is this little sticker here that has a solar heat gain coefficient, U-factor, a bunch of little numbers on there. That information is really, really important when we're designing your HVAC system. It's really important these days with as high as we're building these homes to have the right sized air conditioner. You can put too much tonnage on a house or too little. So we use a software called Manual J that actually takes into consideration the square footage of living area of the building, ceiling height, so you get your cubic footage, what the solar heat gain coefficients are, so how much sun and heat is allowed to come through, takes all that information and calculates the exact tonnage that your home is going to need to achieve the desired climate inside. Another layer of protection we've put on all of our Tilson homes is the Tyvek Drain Wrap House Wrap. We specifically use the drain wrap so that it can be used with hardy plank siding or board and bat hardy or stucco and those can all be applied directly to the surface. So you got 7 16 OSB behind here and then you have Tyvek drain wrap that's got these little ridges in it so that as moisture builds up in that wall cavity when it's 72 inside and 100 degrees outside it's going to condensate just like a glass of iced tea or a coke. When that condensation builds up, you do not want that to be able to get into the home, into the insulation or the studs. You want that to stay outside of this membrane. And the windows are taped as well, literally taped to the wall so that it creates a complete moisture barrier. What you're also gonna notice on this wall are these galvanized wall ties. He'll use these to help hold the stone in place so that over the life of the home, the stone doesn't lean out or anything like that. So you've probably seen in some of our other episodes of the Tilson Craftsmanship series how we spend a lot of time and energy keeping moisture and water vapor out of the home. Now we're gonna talk about when we deliberately put it in the home, like in a shower, what do we do to keep it from getting into the walls and staying in the home? So a couple of things on a shower pan. First thing we're gonna do is put in a, a liner, a rubber membrane that goes up about 18 to 24 inches all the way around. It's got no seams in it. It's one solid monolithic piece. And then after that, we put a cementitious fiberboard. In our case, of course, we use Hardy Backer, and that is an impermeable surface. You can hear it there, different from sheetrock. So that goes on next. And then there's a waterproofing membrane painted on that. We use these high quality R10 insulated and weather stripped 
disappearing stairways to prevent any of that hot air that does get heated up in the attic from escaping down into the conditioned airspace. And it also prevents all the air that you are paying to heat and cool from escaping up into the attic, which is just one more way that we ensure the energy efficiency of your Tilson home. So we hope what you've seen has helped to create a better understanding of what goes on, not only with the finishes of a home, but most importantly, what goes on with the quality behind the walls where the bones of the house are truly made. And what we really hope is that one day we can have the honor of building a home for you on your land and you can become part of the Tilson family.